All right then, gang, so this website is still looking pretty pants, so I think it's about time we started to work on the layout of a few different things to make it look more like a structured web page. Now, to do that in CSS, there's many different approaches. Two of the main ones are by using either Flexbox or CSS Grid. Now, we are going to look at both of those, but in this lesson, we'll look at the basics of using Flexbox in Tailwind first of all. Now, I would highly recommend that you understand the basics of Flexbox using vanilla CSS rules before you start this. Otherwise, these Tailwind classes might not make much sense to you. So definitely check out my CSS Flexbox series for the lowdown on Flexbox, first of all, and that link is going to be down below. So then what I'd like to do is use Flexbox on these things right here, these two little buttons, so that they align over here to the right, and maybe it will add some margin between them as well. So then how are we going to use Flexbox? Well, it's these things right here that we want to be flex items, the login and sign up buttons or links. And in order for these to be flex items, we need to make the thing surrounding it a flex container. Now, the way we make something a flex container in Tailwind is by just giving it a class of flex. Ta -da! That's all there is to it. And if we save it and preview, then nothing much has happened. And that's because the default behavior of flex items is just to sit next to each other. And that's all they were doing in the first place. Now then, we can use the different justify classes that work with flex to justify these differently along the X axis going across. So for example, if we wanted to justify these in the center, we could use a class of justify hyphen, oops, let's spell this correctly, hyphen center, like so. And that justifies these items in the center. Very easy way to center something. Now, the default that we had was justify start. That was what it is by default, and they go right to the start of the x-axis. But we can also go to the end. So justify end, and it's going to go over to the right. Now, that's the option we're ultimately going to use for our links right here. But let me just show you the others as well. If we just say justify hyphen, we can see the different options we have. So we can use justify between, and that adds space between the elements, but not on the outside. We also have justify around and that puts space all around each element. So we have it on the outside as well as the inside of the elements. And we have something which is pretty similar, justify evenly, and that also puts space all around them as well. So then, we're gonna use justify end like so. Let's take a look at that. Okay, cool, that's ultimately where we want them. I do want to add a little bit of margin between them. So on this one, on the second one, I'm gonna say the margin to the left is gonna be of strength two or something like that. So let's say here, ML for margin left, hyphen two, save that. And now we have a little gap between those as well, awesome. Okay, so that's pretty simple, right? We just add a class of flex to the parent and how we want to justify them as well. That was pretty simple. Now we can also justify things in the opposite axis as well. So let me just add some separate HTML to demonstrate this. Let me come down here and I'm gonna paste this in. It's just a div right here with three divs inside it and it's three squares. Well, not squares yet because we've not given them a width and a height, but one of them is gonna be red, one blue and one green. We've seen these kind of classes before to color the background of something. So if I save at the minute, then we're not gonna see anything because we've not given these a width and height. Now to do that using classes in Tailwind is dead easy. We can say H hyphen then a strength. I'm gonna say H4 and then W hyphen and a strength to give it a width. I'm gonna say six. Now if I save this, we should see a small little red box. Awesome. So let's do something similar for the blue one. This time the height is going to be eight and I'm purposely giving them all different heights so that we can align them vertically in different ways and we're gonna see that effect. And the width is gonna be six, so the same. That should be a hyphen. And then down here we'll say height is gonna be 12 and again the width is gonna be six, awesome. So if we save this, we can see three different boxes right here. Now the default behavior of these is to stack one on top of the other because we don't have a flex container yet and these are all block level elements, so they stack one on top of the other. But if we say flex, then they should now sit next to each other, which they do. Now notice by default, they're all aligning at the top on the 
y-axis in the vertical direction right they're all starting at the top what if we want them all to start at the bottom well we can use a class to align them in that vertical axis and the class we use to do that is items hyphen and then wherever we want to align them so if i say end then it's going to start them over here like this this is the end of the vertical direction this is the start this is the end right so the start was the default one we also have access to center save that and now they're all aligned in the center now as well as aligning them in this y direction we can align them as well in the x direction so we could say something like justify center like that I keep spelling justify incorrectly save that and now they all go to the center so that's flexbox in a nutshell um, I'm going to actually delete this stuff because we don't want those three random boxes in the project But I am going to go down to the bottom and use flexbox right here as well now at the moment This is just a div which stretches the full width of the page now What I'd like to do is first of all give this a class of Flex so this becomes a flex item and it's no longer going to stretch the whole of the page then I want to say justify and it's going to be center so it appears in the middle okay so again a really nice way to center an element so there we go that is flexbox we might use it in the future as well on more elements but hopefully this should give you a good idea about it and show you how easy it is to use flexbox in tailwind